Tell me what you know about Qatar. Qatar is the place where the, where the pipeline, the Islamic pipeline that they wanted to run through Syria was rejected. Russia, Syria, and Iran rejects that. Mm -hmm. And so they take the Russian pipeline instead. Qatar, the home of Al Jazeera. Qatar, the one that is supporting the Muslim Brotherhood like crazy um, on Al Jazeera and in country and in, in the rest. And also isn't Qatar one of the biggest bases for the United States? Don't we have one of our... It's a big base. It's a huge base, right? Bahrain and Qatar are the biggest in that region. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, Qatar, if you look at their foreign policy, what they want to happen in the Middle East, it is our foreign policy now. So who's leading who? Are we leading Qatar or are they leading us? Glenn, you hit on a very important hip thing here because in all of the debate about what to do about Syria, you hear about the moderates and the Al-Qaeda fringe, as right. if the, that was the two camps. Right. And in point of fact, the most important faction in Syria is the Muslim Brotherhood, and their biggest backer is Qatar. Uh, and that is, I think, the major importance of, of Qatar to what we're talking about. And it's also the reason why there seems to be such cohesion between Qatar's foreign policy and the White House's foreign policy, because the White House has been trying to empower the Muslim Brotherhood and convince us they're moderates from the beginning, notwithstanding are that they we... Bigger than, are they bigger than Saudi Arabia, the supporter, the supporter of the Muslim uh, Brotherhood? Yes, I think so, because the, the, the Saudis go back and forth over the years on the on the brotherhood right now they're in a, a period where they're actually more concerned about the brotherhood particularly in in Saudi Arabia than they have been in the past okay. you know let me add something to that people need to look at the history the Muslim Brotherhood started an all-out campaign against Hafez al-Ashad in, in Assad in 1976 and it almost came to an all-out civil war. The Muslim Brotherhood has been after this regime, trying to establish an Islamic Republic in Syria at least since 76, when they ultimately were defeated and outlawed. So anybody that thinks that there is, as Andy said, there is the Free Syrian Army and then there's this group of radicals, no. This is a Muslim Brotherhood-controlled entity now that is fighting against Bashar al-Assad and as you said, they are attacking Christians right now in the city of Ma'alula. They are attacking Christians, a peaceful Christian community of Syriacs, the ancient Syrians that uh, still speak Aramaic. Today, as we speak, they're still attacking them. This is the rebels that are doing this. This is the Muslim Brotherhood. These are the people we ran guns to. Right. These are the people that possibly have guns um, from Benghazi.